Hey, Andy. Hello, mate. Hello. Um, Hello. So, um, yeah, so the reason for our little uh, chat today is um, me and Andy were, uh, were fresh from a, an event last weekend with SFM. It's called a Momentum Day. It was in London. And these events are amazing for um, the, the leadership team of SFM to give us a load of value and a load of information but also a great way of us connecting with other people just like us that are all on a similar journey to try and uh, achieve financial freedom and uh, the best version of ourselves that we can pretty much. Um, part of that event was Stuart Ross, the main man, setting us a, a 90 day challenge. And that challenge covers both uh, business, personal and health goals uh, that you've got to stick to for 90 days. And we decided we wanted to do this video as a little interview to be able to share that um, and what it means to us, basically. So, Andy, if you want to sort of set the scene a little bit more in terms of what that looks like and what it means for you. Yeah, because, um, cheers, Mel. It's, it's, it was basically the whole reason for Stuart setting this challenge was because he's basically looking for um, different ways of helping people get better results in their business. And um, the main reason he was seeing that people weren't getting the results they were really after um, was that they're not following through on their goals, not following through on the things they said they were going to do. Yeah. Um, and, you know, if you're going to, you know, achieve something, it requires a certain action. If you don't take that action, you don't get the result, right? It yeah. sounds really obvious and it sounds really straightforward, but it's incredible how much we actually avoid the issue in our life um, and ha old programmed habits of avoiding certain things that might be a little bit uncomfortable that we know we need to do, but that are going to get us to the next stage in our business. For me personally, that has been um, getting on video, um, being more visible to an audience, because for me, it's all about connecting with an audience. If I'm not connecting with an audience, I'm not reaching an audience. I can't make an impact. I can't help people. I can't make the difference I'm looking to make. And yet my mind was still finding that uncomfortable and finding some other way of skirting around the issue and finding some other thing to busy itself with any excuse other than to do the thing I really need to do. Yeah. It's such an unconscious process that um, we can often not even realize it's going on. And yeah. this challenge is about holding us accountable to um, standing up to that side of us, which tries to wheedle out of the things we need to do. And it's going to be getting us the results we want to be getting. And like you say, Mel, we've got the personal goals because it's important that we um, hold true to ourselves in our personal life as well as our business life and as well as our health because it's all one thing, isn't it? You know, yeah. um, a, a, a sick, um, unhappy CEO of a company or founder of a company makes a sick company. We are our business, aren't we? Do you know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. And so it's really important for us to have the whole, all of our life, um, we need to be committing and following through on the things we're going to be saying with our family, with our friends, with our business too. So um, what are your reasons for doing this, Mel, this challenge, your personal challenges that you want to actually break through with this? Um, yeah, so basically I'm, I'm fed up of hearing myself come out with the same old excuses. Um, and, you know, for example, my, one of my health goals is giving up red wine for the, for the 90 days. And I've been saying probably for about, oh Christ, I don't know, probably the last 10 years, one of these days I'm going to go teetotal. One of these days I'm going to go teetotal. And it just never, it's just never happened. You know, there's a lot of stress in the world. And I know alcohol and drugs and cigarettes, it's a biggie for a lot of people because, you know, we are stressed and... We do need escapism and for some reason we find escapism in whatever our choice of poison is yeah. and for me it's been red wine so um yeah so i'd already decided to give it up from um from lent not that i ever do lent but i decided to do it this year and then this happened and i was like well there you go um it's yeah so what, weeks, we, it's just we, turned into three months We've read with red wine. It's a it's a great one, and I know that with you that that's a great one for you to to put forward for this challenge. But what would what were the effects of the, of red wine that you find undesirable in your life that you're actually looking to change? What's the problem with that? Because obviously red wine's a very pleasurable and nice thing, right? But yeah. what's the flip side for you? The flip side is the dependency. 
you know, a flip, the flip side is coming in after a long day at work and reaching for a glass of wine. Why? Um, but, but feeling the effects the next day, the fogginess and, um, and also the effect it has on me sometimes on nights out, it's not ideal. And, um, I don't want to be in that situation anymore. I want to be more in control and I don't want to be dependent on it, pure and simple. And I want to have a fresh mind, you know, I want more focus. I right. Want I want to spring out of bed in the morning and just crack on with the day and not feel like I can't. So. Sure. Yeah. Because again, if we're looking to sort of, you know, make progress in our business, uh, a fresh, happy, light mind is, is so important, right? Yeah. You know, because especially as entrepreneurs, we're looking to, we have to create our own motivation. We have to create our own ideas, our own opportunity. Um, yeah. And you know that it's held back, isn't it? When you've got a, a foggy mind and a, a little bit of an achy body or whatever, it's like yeah. it just makes it harder, doesn't it? And you know, it's hard enough, right? It makes it harder, and also it's it's you get pissed off with yourself because you've been promising yourself to do something for so many years. It's like any of the goals that we've chosen, yeah. And it's that procrastination, and it's that maybe maybe it's a lack of self confidence maybe it's a lack of self worth maybe it's this maybe it's that but it, it's all these excuses that we've been telling ourselves for years that have kept us exactly where we are and we yeah. don't want to be exactly where we are we we desperately want to break out of the self imposed prison yeah and go and be the best version of ourselves we can be absolutely i mean for me it's been it's been much more about um like i say it's been, this challenge mainly for me is about breaking my resistance to getting on video so that i can make the connection with people um but what is that resistance that i'm feeling if i'm honest it's a lack of confidence yeah. um it's a lack of confidence in the fact that people will actually find value in what i've got to say um and whilst i'm actually i'm receiving great feedback from people telling me that i'm good on video and you know i i you I'm are very, uh, right you're <laughs> thank amazing you, thank you mel but it's, it's like it, you know our view of ourselves is very different to the way other people see us isn't it and to be able to integrate um a compliment like that that you just gave me there for instance it's like it's only been through dealing with people who have been able to be honest with me and encourage me in my journey that have been able to give me the confidence to get on the video and start breaking through this limiting false belief that I haven't got something valuable to say that I haven't got something valuable to share that I know it feels valuable to me, but why would it be valuable to anybody else is the story yeah. that's going on in my head. Right. Yeah, me too, yeah. and rubbish. I know yeah. it's rubbish, but I, it's, it's, it's about pushing past that limiting belief and, and getting out there, getting visible, getting used to the feeling of, Oh my God, it's like another video. I find it quite overwhelming, quite, scary if i'm honest um and i shy away from it at the first possible opportunity this challenge is going to hold me accountable to doing five at least five videos a week that terrifies the living bejesus out of me um but it's exactly what i need to get where i want to be um yeah. it's not for me right it's not for us is it mel this this yeah. isn't about us this is about the impact that we can have this is about the people we're looking to help right Absolutely. Yeah. And that's something that's come out uh, a lot more for me in the last probably six months. Yeah. Um, I've always had a desire to help people. I've always had a natural ability to listen to people and apparently communicate clearly, be able to see the wood for the trees for people, be able to give, not, I don't want to give advice. It's nothing, you know, it's not my life, but it's my opinion or it's, it's my perspective on what they're sharing with me. Yeah. And if that can help, which it has done a lot, you know, I've done it a lot over the years naturally. I always wanted to be a, a psychologist when I was at university and then I changed my mind. I, I felt like I didn't have enough life experience to do that. Um, and then I kind of fell into sales and never kind of got out of there. Mm. And in the last six months with all of the things we've been through with SFM and events that we've been to and sharing between ourselves, yep. um, I've realized I have got value to offer. I, you know, I am making a difference. We, you know, I shared with you, Andy, uh, only yesterday or the day before about the impact I've had on a family member who live out in, in California and her daughter's got mental health problems. And it was really obvious for me to see what was going on, but it wasn't for her because she couldn't see the wood for the trees. And that's all it needs. It just needs somebody to listen yeah. and um, communicate and 
and or offer a different way of, of seeing things, right? A different different way of seeing things and allow that person to come to their own bloody conclusion at the end of the day because they all know it. Yeah, Everyone right. knows it deep inside, really, what it is they need to do or should be doing or sure. could be doing, you know. Um, and it just takes somebody to sit there and listen and give their perspective for it to formulate. A bit like Stuart standing on stage presenting right. this challenge to us and we're like, oh, fuck. These yeah. are things we've been promise, promising ourselves for a long time. And like you say, we know it already, right? It's we just, know it already. It takes someone to point it out and go, well, look, the reason you're not getting the results you, you, you're looking to get is because you're not following through on your goals. You're not following through on what you said you're going to do. Yeah. And yeah, so it's, it's a powerful thing. And so the other um, side of this challenge, which I think is important to point out, is the fact that the accountability, the consequence of not following through. Sure. Because something that Stuart said that resonated with us so much, right, was um, on Saturday at the event, was that the consequences of not following through and what we say we're going to do aren't um, dire enough, basically. It's yeah. like our lives are too comfortable. We're too comfortable with the alternative of, well, what if we don't do what we say we're going to do? Oh, actually, yeah, that feels a bit uncomfortable. I might do that tomorrow. Um, and then, you know, another day goes by and there's no real consequence, really. And yeah. therefore, you know, progress gets held back and things move on. But if we're constantly putting off the things we need to do, one day something comes along in the background because the world is a changing place. Everything is in a state of flux. We, n we have no idea at which point um, certain things in the world are going to change. Maybe it's a global issue. Maybe it's a health issue. Maybe it's a monetary issue. Uh, maybe it's a, a, an emotional issue with a family member. Something, something big might happen in our life that comes in and, you know, just pff, knocks all our hopes and dreams out the window and we've not taken action on our, on our goals. Therefore, we're now regretting the fact that we didn't do that because now we've no longer got the opportunity to, to, to make that change. That's right. I, so, I remember... Go sorry. Sorry. Um, uh, a previous mentor of mine, he used the analogy of the rusty nail. You, you know, you're sitting on a rusty nail. It depends whether you're hovering or whether you sit in a little bit more or a little bit more uh, as to how painful it is. And until it's like excruciating, then most people won't do anything to change their life. Yeah. Um, totally. And totally. you were talking then about, um, I think you were talking about regrets, if not just then earlier, but... Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, so... You know, people on their deathbed do not regret the amount of time they spent in the office. Uh, sorry, the they do not say to themselves on their deathbed, "Oh, I love the fact that I spent 50, 60 hours a week in the office." They're they're thinking about all the time they didn't spend with their loved ones. Of course, Essentially, that's what it comes down to. Because you only regret what you don't do, right? You don't regret what you do do. Exactly. And we all want better lives. We all want to be happy. Ultimately, that's what we all want. We want contentment. We want happiness for us and our family and our, lo our loved ones and our friends. And um, but most of us just don't bloody do it. Most of us no. just get wrapped up in the rat race. So absolutely. So what we're looking to do is, is kind of create for ourselves a set of artificial circumstances that hold us accountable in a way that the consequences not following through on our goals in this 90 day challenge are something that we absolutely don't want to happen. Yeah. But if they do, it's like, okay, well, let's make it so it's kind of cool because it's like what we've pledged to do, haven't we? We've pledged to donate $500 if we don't follow through on our goals to yeah. the Victoria's Promise Women's Cancer Charity. Now, that's a wonderful thing, um, but we haven't got that money right now, okay? So... Um, well, it's 500 times three because it's per it goal. Is. Per yeah. goal. So essentially, if we fail one goal in each category, personal, health, and business, that ends up at fifteen hundred dollars. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. A, a, a wonderful charity gets our money, but essentially, that's money we haven't got. So, right now, you know, whilst we would give money to that charity, that's something that we like. No, I absolutely that cannot happen because I haven't got that money. You know, it, it feels like you're throwing yourself off a cliff almost by committing to pledging that money if you don't follow through on your goals within 90 days. Yeah. But that's what it takes, right? You're like you're saying, the rusty now, right? <laughs> and I think, um, let's, let's give people an example of just, let's, um, we've got, we've both got a whole list of goals that we're planning yeah. to carry out across the, the 90 days. But 
let's give people an example of uh, maybe one goal in each category each. So we've got personal yeah. health and business. Can you choose one to share from each, Mel? Yeah, yeah. So, um, I mean, I shared the red wine, but another one of the health for me is uh, meditating um, a minimum six times a week. So I do meditate anyway, and I and normally I get to do five times a week, depending on how the week's going. Yeah. But, um, and, and I just never do it on the weekends, even though I've got more time then. It's, just, it's weird. So, yeah, so I'm going for six, but I'm also up in my 15 minutes to a minimum of 25 minutes a day. Because I really want to get more centered in that meditation. And, and, and actually, it was a chat with you yesterday that made me realize it's probably not long enough for me to really sort of fully connect and really enjoy that space. So right. That, right. That's, my, that's one of my health. Uh, one of my businesses is um, actually, this is quite, sounds quite an easy one, but it's one Instagram post per month. Uh, no, it's not. Per week, sorry. <laughs> per month. Um, because I don't do Instagram at all. And yeah. uh, it's something I really want to do because that's the, A, the next Facebook. It's where a lot of people are hanging out now. People have moved off Facebook onto Instagram and I, I just don't really understand it. So that's essential for me to connect with my audience there. Um, and then a personal one is learning the guitar. Something I've been promising myself for about six years. I've dipped in, I dipped out, I dipped in, I dipped out. And the reason why I want to learn the guitar, I, I mean, I started at school when I was bloody six but anyway um i'm a singer songwriter as well and i want the ability to be able to pick up my guitar go and do an open mic night on my own not have to rely on anyone else yeah and, and also be more creative with with what i can produce vocally yeah um, because you'd be holding to somebody else and having to fit in with their rhythm um yep or a backing track on a cover track or whatever it is, and you can't quite express yourself. So that's a real big one for me to be able to, you know, really be a lot more creative. So Lovely. that's mine. Yep, cool. Yeah. I know you've got many more, but that's the three good ones there. So yeah, well, let, me share, let me share three of mine. Right, okay. In Let's pick one for my personal goals. So um, in my personal goals, um, every Friday night, um, I'm making sure that that time is absolutely blocked out for me and my partner, Helen, to spend good quality time together. And that involves, you know, kicking the kids upstairs, you know, getting them up there, get, get them up there with a movie and a pizza and a bo bo box of popcorn or whatever it takes to keep them yeah. upstairs. Because as much as we love those little people, they, you know, if we, if we just, life comes along and, the little people want something all the time, you know, them beautiful little kids and we love them, but we need our time together. Do you know what yep. I'm saying? And, and that's something whilst we're always together as a family, me and Helen actually having time together as a couple is rare. And we're both aware of that. Neither of us hold each other in disregard for that, but we're both aware that that would be a lovely addition to our life. And so we're both committing actually to that being every Friday night. So that's this evening for me, right? Anyway, so moving on, health goals. Um, let's see, let's pick one here. Um, do you know what? The, my most relevant one in there is the meditation as well. For yeah. me, meditation is all about being consistent. Like you were saying, building a consistent habit because the real benefits of meditation really kick in when it becomes a consistent daily habit. Again, we're back to that word habit again, aren't we? Yeah. And, you know, um, if, if you if you meditate like I was doing for a week or so, and then you might have a week off and then a week back on, it's kind of nice. It makes a difference in your day, but it doesn't have a long term effect and big impact on your life and the way you see things. So meditation for me being consistent seven days a week. That's one of my health goals. Yeah. Uh, right. Business goals. Mm -hmm. um, I, I mentioned it before getting on video and I'm committing to five times a week. So for me, that's huge. Uh, that, that if I'm honest, fine. I do find that a little bit terrifying at this stage, but I I'm excited by the idea that by the end of this 90 day challenge, I won't feel that same kind of terror. And as long as I keep that up as a habit, because I would have formed the habit of doing that five days a week. Yeah. As long as I keep that up, that won't return. I'll be past that forever. And, you know, and confidence begins to grow and hopefully then you start to, you know, I'll be able to reach a, a larger audience 
it's so key for my business to actually c connect with people first. So that's, that's three examples of my goals. And of course, both of us, we're doing the skydive, aren't we? In June, oh, July, sorry. No, June, it is June, isn't it? Yeah. So the skydive for Victoria's Promise charity as well, again. Yeah. Um, yeah. They st and we're, we're committing to raising at least 500 pounds as one of our goals, aren't we? And if we yeah. fail that, we need to pay them 500 pounds anyway, on yeah. top of the money we raise for the skydive. So, yeah. And yeah. these are the artificial consequences that we're introducing for ourselves is like that money to the charity if we fail. Yeah, absolutely. Or don't follow through. Exactly. Which is not going to happen. So Too right. Too right. It can't happen because at the end of the day, the consequence doesn't matter if you're utterly serious about following, following through. It doesn't matter what that consequence is really, right? Exactly. Yeah. So Mel, just as a closing thought then, how do you feel about where we are now on day one of the challenge? How do you feel going forward about your goals and the potential of what this could um, produce for you in your life? Um, I've got, I feel excited. Um, I feel optimistic. I feel, I, I feel a sense of re a re relief, kind of the yes. word, um, because yeah. like the, yeah, these self-imposed shackles are starting to fall away. I mean, we're only on day one and I haven't finished everything I need to do yet today, but um, it just feels uh, exciting that I'm actually going to actually be doing it. And um, what I should have put in one of my personals was no bleeding TV because I ain't going to get time to watch any TV. Um, so, that's yeah. automatic then, right? That's, that's, that's just automatic. a nice yeah, exactly. side effect. Yeah. Um, I am a little bit nervous, you know, because there are going to be days where it's more difficult than others, uh, yeah. especially when you go away. Like you're away with the kids, I'm going to go away with my mum, yeah. at which point I've got to take a guitar on the plane. So, yeah. you know, little challenges like that. But hey ho, life, life happens. It doesn't matter, does it? So, no. But that's the thing, isn't it? It's like when those things come, that's the perfect opportunity for our mind to just come up with that excuse and go, Oh, I can't take a guitar away for those for that time. It's like, no, I can't just can't do my guitar lessons for that for that week. Yeah. Or, you know, it's like whatever comes up, those little things, it's like what what is more important? Is it more important that we follow through on what we say we're gonna do or that we just kind of like duck out at the first possible opportunity, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. And that's exactly what this challenge is is here to do. So it's not letting us off letting ourselves off the hook, isn't it? Exactly. What about you, Andy? I feel, I feel it's, it's a mixture. I feel really like you saw me yesterday. I was buzzing, right? Yeah. I, I'm absolutely, I'm so happy to have the opportunity to finally get past these, this part of myself, which has been hold, I feel has been holding me back for a long time. Um, that excites me immensely. And because what that will do is give me the ability to reach more people and actually make a difference and impact people's lives help them make a difference in their own life. That for me excites me hugely. And of course, that's exactly why we're in this challenge, right? It isn't for us. It's for the sake of the difference we can make, isn't it, Mel? Absolutely, yeah. You know, and that's what allows us to, to get past our own limits is because it's not just for us, is it? Exactly. Um, it's for much more than that. It's for so much more than that. And, um, but yeah, I'm, there, there's the other side of it. I'm pretty, oh, you know, like pretty, I feel quite terrified if I let myself, but I'm just, I kind of just go, no, it'll be fine. And just get on with it and just feel, kind of feel the fear and do it anyway, right? Yee. <laughs> that classic old saying. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, th thanks so much for the call today, Mel. It's been, it's been good chatting about it, but um, I'm sure. Yeah. I hope I'm whoever's quite... watching gets some value from it because Definitely. guys, guys just step out your own way. Simple as that. That's what it's about. Yeah, it's not that easy, but there, there are ways and means of making it happen. And this is the challenge is, is our way. We're, we're doing this over the next 90 days, right? Let's watch this space and see where we go with this, eh? Yeah, exactly. And if you wanted to know any more about this challenge, then in the description below, there'll be a couple of links that you could get in touch with either one of us. So, Yeah, good shout. Right. Nice one. Okay. Lovely, Mel. See you soon, mate. All right, see you later. Thanks, mate. Bye.